Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to draw my cat Mercy. This is her. It's a lovely cat. And what I did first is I put tape on my uh, watercolor paper and then I measured out the space of my drawing which is 21 centimeters by um, about 18. So I can put in two uh, little helper lines which are very very easy and very useful to do to draw on your uh, drawing space and so this is at ten and a half and here below at ten and a half and for the sides at nine and nine centimeters so then I have two divider lines you can see them here very thin on my uh, watercolor paper so then I exactly know where to start the nose. And this is the center line for her head. And I also instantly can see now where the ears are going to be. So you can see how uh, helpful it is to place those uh, little first lines to get that uh, head going. So what I'm using is a uh, graphite pencil. It's a mechanical graphite pencil. And I first start to draw all of the cat. She's laying in a, in a teepee. It's her little uh, toy box. It's like an Indian uh, house. And uh, she loves uh, to lay in it and to sleep in there. So this is the opening of the little teepee. And this is my watercolor paper that I'm using. It's by Arches and it's a cold pressed one, little bit of grain, 300 grams per square meter and 100% cotton. Very important to use the cotton type. And I put on the tape of course and this is my graphite drawing and then it's time to uh, get the uh, watercolor in. I'm using a, a round brush number 12. It's just a synthetic watercolor brush and the Rembrandt paint. Now this is the color uh, print of the picture that I took from my cat. You can see that the eyes are very different in color because of the direction of the light. Now what I do first and uh, well, a lot of people think that's a little bit scary, but I first paint in the darkest value, which is the opening of the teepee. And I carefully um, paint around the cat. So then I actually have a start with a, with a very dark value. And by the way, this complete tutorial in real time can be found on my Patreon page with all the reference pictures and uh, the tips. And it took me one hour and uh, three quarters to make this whole uh, watercolor painting. So if you're interested, feel free to join me on my Patreon page, of course. And what I'm doing here is I'm putting in a layer of yellow ochre uh, for the whole of uh, the cat, except for uh, the spots uh, on the, the nose, around the nose. Her beak is light of color. And I also spare out the eyes. Now, while the cat is drying, I can uh, work in another area which has been uh, dried. So the inside of the TP uh, is blue. So I can put in the blue here. Then I take a paper towel like this and I just put in, uh, well, the folds that are on the inside of the TP, which is very easily done with that uh, little bit of tissue. Now I was talking about the eyes. Uh, those are of uh, different colors because of the lighting. So I'm using the bluish green for the right eye and then the sap green, which is more yellowish, for the left eye. And I just let that soak in 
for a moment. And in the meantime, um, the cat self has dried up now. And what I'm doing here is I uh, fold open the hairs of my brush. And then I pick up a little bit of uh, burnt sienna. That's the dark brown. And I use that to create um, the feel of um, some kind of fur going on. So I just um, make use of the hairs of the uh, brush. And you have special brushes for that. But if you don't have that, I don't have one. You can just fold open the hairs of your brush and then use that for uh, putting in a lot of little tiny hairs. And it's just an under layer. But uh, this will shine through because of the watercolor paint is very transparent. And in that way uh, you get a fur feel. And uh, well, it gives that nice soft touch. Very, very nice to do. And I thought that was a great tip for you to, uh, to see. And well, actually the light is coming from the right side. So the whole left side of Little Cat Mercy will be in the shadow. So I'm already uh, taking special notice of that. You can also see that in her little paws, they are dangling uh, outside the teepee. And you can see the little toes and there's a, a lot of shadow on the left side of the paw, of course, because of the light coming from the right. So I simply put those values in and you can even see the little shadow uh, casted by the paw on uh, the front of the teepee. Now then it's time to put in a little bit of the uh, very dark values for the inside of the nose and a little line uh, towards the mouth and again another layer for uh, the shadow casted by the head onto her body, onto her shoulder there. And as you can see, I uh, opened up the hairs again of my brush to get uh, well some kind of a fur touch going on. And I keep putting in all kinds of layers. And what this cat also has, she uh, is, um, the breed uh, is the OC cat and the OC cat is a, uh, a mixture of the Siamese, Siamese cat and the Abyssinian and it's a very nice um, mixture and she has a lot of wild coloring. I love that and I really really wanted to, uh, to paint this. Now while the cat is drying again I can work for the inside of the teepee because that has to be the darkest value in all of the, the completed painting. And that dark value also uh, makes uh, Mercy pop out in front. So that's nice. And here's a little bit more yellow ochre again. I put it in her face and also a little bit, a touch of red over the parts that have dried up. I can see a lot of uh, also red in her fur. And I need to, um, to get the dark values correct. There's a lot of shadow going on. So here's another layer of, uh, this is Van Dyke Brown. And it's a nice color to put over uh, the red here and uh, in uh, over the shoulder and in that way it appears that she is popping out of the dark of the inside of the teepee so I have to get those values right and what I'm using here is a little bit of ASO yellow which is semi transparent and you can also use that to put in a little bit of fur and this is another layer of the Van Dyke brown underneath the chin. 
and then I let my painting rest for half an hour to make sure that it's completely dry and now is the fun part the fun part starts now because we are going to put in the details this is my Stedler fine liner uh, I have jelly roll pens those are white the fine liner by Stedler are the black ones the 0 0.3 and the 0 0.5 and what you can also use is the rigger the rigger is a, a very long haired brush for fine detail and gouache paint now here you can see the gouache paint at work I've put it on the rigger and in that way I can uh, put in the whiskers of Little Mercy so that is the way I will also show you what you can do of course with the jelly roll pen I want to show them all so I want to show, show the, the jelly roll pen and this is the rigger at work with the white gouache and you can see you can put in very very uh, detailed hairs and I do not draw in each and every hair I just use it for the whiskers and um, here and there I put in some hairs now this is the jelly roll pen it's a white gel pen and also this is a very nice to work with when you are watercoloring you can see I can just place a few hairs in there and then you get that amazing effect of uh, soft fur and uh, well the OC cat does not have long hair because she's partly Siamese but you can see a lot of uh, wild um, uh, colorings and actually uh, there are little black hairs and white hairs and this is the Stedtler at work it's a fine liner and you can use that ideally for uh, the pupils for instance the little lines uh, around the eyeballs but also here and there I place a few little hairs and, and in that way I also create the feel of fur going on and uh, the little tiny hairs that are on the face and on the body and uh, well they have great markings the OC cat have those those nice wild markings and I love it she's very very beautiful she was young here only one year and uh, I really wanted to uh, to paint her now here for the tip of the hairs on the uh, ears for instance it's also nice to work with uh, the combination of the watercolor paint and the jelly roll pen and the rigger if you want they are all stunning and amazing as is the Stedtler fine liner well this is going great I love it uh, and again of course you can visit my patreon page if you want to see the whole complete version in real time with the reference pictures so feel free to join me there and of course I will also see you again in my next tutorial here on the YouTube so thank you for watching and take care